Hey guys, welcome back to another Tip and Trick Tuesday. Today, I am talking about probably the most powerful app on iOS. It's called Workflow. Now the concept is rather clever. The app has a bunch of triggers and actions in it that you can actually just set and it'll actually execute them all in order from top to bottom as soon as you push the Workflow button. And because it is made by Apple, it actually has access to a lot of system things that a third party app that tried to do this would not have access to. Some examples of these that the app shows you itself are things like uh, logging your caffeine by pushing a button and then you get to choose either it's a soda, coffee, espresso, what size it was, and then it'll add all that directly into the health app. Or maybe a button to grab the top stories from Apple News or automatically make a collage from your most recent photos, call a pizza place, it just goes on and on. Now the real use for this isn't what Apple has put in there. I mean, those are okay, but it's more about taking all of the little tasks that you do on a daily basis, and if any of those can be optimized by being automated by this, putting them in there. Because if you save a little bit here and there on things you do all the time, it's got a much bigger impact on your life than just you know using it once on something you do once a month. Now the app is only really limited to your imagination, so I'm gonna just do an example of something that I do all the time, which is when I take a tutorial on my site and I have to take screenshots from iOS to put into the tutorial so that people know what the heck I'm talking about. Now, you obviously can choose whatever you want. I'm gonna do that for this just so you can see how this works, but then you come up with you know something better that you do all the time, I, unless you do this. If you do this, then you're welcome. Step by step for how to do this. So first up, let's download and install Workflow from the App Store. Then you're gonna open it and tap on Gallery to see some of the examples of Workflow that you can use, or you can tap New One by tapping on New Workflow. You have the options for what type of workflow you wanna make here. It's Normal, which will let you select it from inside the Workflow app. Today Widget, which will let you swipe over to get to the Today screen and then have a button there to do that. Apple Watch, which creates a button on your Apple Watch to run the workflow. A and Action Extension, which has the button show up in the standard share menu whenever that is brought up. For this, I'm gonna just make a normal widget just so you can see. Next, we need to add some actions to the workflow. So we're gonna swipe to the right to get to all of the actions. Now it starts with a bunch of suggested ones, but you can type into the search actions or tap actions at the top left to get to all of them. Pull over whatever action you want to get started, but for this example, I'm gonna use select photos under photos and video and drag it to the right to put it in the workflow. Then I'm gonna tap multiple because I usually have multiple screenshots for each of these tutorials. And this will have the system ask us what photos to select when we tap on the workflow button. Then we can swipe back over to add another action to do after the first one has completed. Now I'm gonna search for what I want by typing in resize, and then I can drag over resize image under photos and images. And I'll select 640 as the width and height can be auto, so it'll keep the same aspect ratio as the original image. Now I'm going to swipe back over to get another action to share them. Now I can't directly send them to Google Drive from Workflow, but I can open the share dialog and I know that Google Drive is in there. So I'm gonna search for share and then drag that over as the last step. Now you can tap the gear at the top right and choose a name, icon, adjust the type if you need to and change it now, etc. Once satisfied, you can either leave it in the workflow app by tapping back and then done, or you can tap add to home screen to launch the workflow in Safari, then tap share and add to home screen, or you can tap add to launch center, but that's a separate app and it costs money, so that's up to you. Now, I personally like to actually add it to the Today screen by making it a Today screen workflow, and then going to the Today screen by swiping to the right on my iPhone 10, tapping Edit at the bottom, and adding the workflow widget to the screen. It's just, in my opinion, the fastest way to get to the button and, and launch it. And real quick, here's what it looks like when I run that workflow. I swipe over, I tap on my workflow, it automatically asks me what photos I want to choose, I choose a bunch of them, and then I tap share to this and put it in my drive and that's it now they're resized so i can put them onto the website without killing my server or people's phones because the actual resolution of those is much higher than it needs to be on the internet um but there you go so that's an example again you guys can use this for whatever you want um a, you know it's you're limited to your imagination whatever you think of can be done not everything but a lot of things a lot of things can be done uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments below 
would love to hear from you. Also, you can share your workflows. So if you go into the app and you tap on the setting icon and share, you can get a link that other people can then download your workflow and use it for themselves. So if you have some cool ones that you use, be sure to leave them in the comments below so that other people can check them out and use them. There you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, let me know in the comments if you did. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, that's greatly appreciated. Share the video if you feel like it. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.